Okay, here's an example of the Rigol 1054Z coming up uh, from power on boot up with it frozen, locked up, no, nothing works. Uh, so if I turn the power off, as you can see I had pretty complicated setup going on there and I'll show you what the keys are to, to uh, that setup in a moment. So now I've turned the scope back on. It's booting up. And no, I do not have the keyboard lock selected on the scope, in case you were wondering about that. So here we go. We're up now, and see, it's frozen. It came up frozen. And the reason that it came up frozen is because when you have four channels set up, it doesn't remember the memory depth setting. And no matter how you had it set before with four channels up, it switches to auto memory depth when it comes up. And then since it's in horizontal zoom and with some persistence set, it freezes automatically. So the way to get around the problem of it booting up frozen, you have to use the fifth from the top button push technique. So start the scope and then repeatedly press this button while the scope is booting up. And, and, okay, now you can see that it comes up with factory defaults and in Chinese language. So from here, I select language, English, and then since I've got a signal actually being displayed, I want to rescale that signal and reset the trigger. Okay, so now we're back to functionality. So let me go to storage, storage type, setups, load, local disk, and then down here at the bottom I have a setup stored. So let's go ahead and load that. Takes a few moments to load the setup. And it will eventually load the setup, not too much longer. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Some of these uh, loads and picture saves and things like that seem to take an inordinately long time. Uh, longer than it probably should. So, I Okay, so now the setup is loaded, so now let's go to showing the live waveform set that I've got on there right now. And let's check the acquire menu. Notice that the memory depth is auto. So let me change that to 6 megabytes or 6 megapoints of memory. Okay, and now let's cycle the scope. Power off, power back on. Uh, yeah.
Remember the good old days of maintaining Windows systems when you had to wait for an arbitrary minute or so after every reboot before you could do anything again? Okay, so now we're up again. Go to the Acquire menu and notice that the memory depth has changed to Auto. Even though I have last, it's supposed to remember all of its settings. This seems to only happen when I have four channels um, selected. With one channel uh, operational, it stays where you put it through reboots. Okay, so memory depth is auto. So let's go ahead. We know that if we have memory depth auto in certain circumstances, the scope will freeze. So let's go to six mega points memory depth now. Okay, and in display, we have 100 milliseconds persistence time set, right? So now if I enter the horizontal zoom mode by pressing the button, we get a functional horizontal zoom and I can zoom in and zoom out because we have memory depth set to six mega points, right? So the, uh, the freeze up only happens when you have auto uh, memory depth. So now Let's cycle the scope, power off, power back on. And it appears to boot up normally. All of the clicks and flashing lights are all normal. but the scope is frozen because it automatically set itself, it reset itself to auto uh, in the acquire menu. See, nothing, no response from anything. It is showing a live waveform and I'll prove that to you by just touching the apparatus. Okay, but it's not responsive to any buttons. Not even run stop. So I have to do the fifth button reset again. And I think you can see that if you had a, a complicated setup that you didn't have stored and were relying on it to come back up uh, normally, you would lose your setup because you have to do the fifth button uh, reset in order to get the scope to function again. And that of course sets you back to the Chinese menu and factory defaults. Okay, so we're back to Chinese menu now. Language. English. Set the channel one scale. Reset the trigger. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.